So this is a shepherd's pie style meatloaf. I guess I should just call it smallette style meatloaf. Um, and like their mom, I'm not putting any bread in this meatloaf at all. We are putting a ton of vegetable. I started with mushrooms. You can use any type you like. I love Hen of the Woods. Cook out the mushroom first, then add in a couple of shallots, garlic, a rib of celery, a carrot, and a little thyme. You have to cook that out and cool that completely because you can't add, of course, hot food to cold meat. So we're going to add to our ground beef, pound and a half to two pounds of ground sirloin, so nice and lean. We're gonna add all of that cooled, cooked out vegetable and thyme. Then we're gonna add the flavor enhancers. A fat three to four tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, a little soy sauce, or tamari, aged soy, a squirt of tomato paste, or sun-dried tomato paste, a fat squirt of Dijon mustard. Mm. A little chopped parsley. And my special ingredient, finely chopped cornichon or pickles. Weird, but delicious. Just try it. Shush, just try it. <laughs> it's really, really good. And then we're gonna add in one large egg. And then we're going to form a loaf Drizzle it with olive oil and pop it in a 400 degree oven on a parchment lined baking sheet for 45 minutes. Then we're gonna take the loaf out, top it with our potato topping, my everything mashed potato topping, and then put it back in the oven to brown the potatoes. I'll show you what goes in the potatoes right after this. So we got the meatloaf heavy with condiments. It's got uh, Worcestershire sauce and Dijon mustard. A lot of great flavors already going through the meatloaf. Now we're gonna top it with everything smashed potatoes. So for the potatoes, you're gonna start by baking your bacon. Always bake bacon, never put it in a frying pan. It makes a mess of your stove and it's uneven heating. You're gonna end up with pockets of the bacon that are overcooked and pockets that are undercooked. You bake it, you never have to flip it. You take it out when it's extra crispy and crumble it, then you get bacon bits. I use small potatoes so you don't have to peel them. Duh. And then you mash them up. I don't care, any color of small potato. Baby potatoes, cold water, cold potatoes. Bring that up to a rapid boil, then salt the water. Potatoes love salt. Once the potatoes come to a boil, take the lid off or the pot will uh, you know, overflow all over the stove because of the starch. Never salt the potatoes until the water is boiling because the salt will fall to the bottom of the pot. If the water isn't boiling, it'll scar the pot itself. Then we add in tons of bacon bits. I already have butter, salt, and pepper in there. Bacon bits, green onion or chive, sour cream, it's best friend, and some grated Gruyere or cheddar cheese, and then save a little for the top. Now, if you have an obsession with bacon, as I do, make twice the amount of bacon that I tell you in the recipe, because you're just going to eat it while you're in the kitchen making the meatloaf because it's bacon and that's how that rolls. That's just the way it works out. So now we're going to mash that all together and then we're gonna slather this all over the meatloaf and put it back in our 400 degree oven until it turns brown and bubbly and gorgeous. So it's just like shepherd's pie, except it's a loaf. <laughs> I don't know why this makes me so happy, but it truly does. <laughs> so here we go. Gonna roll like the Smollett family right here. Gorgeous. Look at that baby. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, I wanna take a class picture of you. <laughs> Don't you talk to your food at home? Am I, am I that unusual? Anyway, once you get that slathered around, top it with a little extra cheese, why not? And then throw it back in the oven. I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out right after this. Ooh, that's so warm. Guys, check this out. Cheesy everything mashed potatoes on top of the meatloaf that kind of has everything in the world in it, too. Big hunk of meatloaf with the cheesy potatoes. And then the easiest of side dishes, roast broccolini. 